You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. So you are. You are. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today I'm going to show you how to do the prim bow braid from the reaping scene of Catching Fire. And also we have a really cool giveaway that we're going to talk about at the end of the video, so make sure you stay long enough to hear about that. Okay, now to begin what I'm going to do is take her hair, and I've parted it, you can see right here, to the left, like about halfway over this eyebrow. And then I'm going to go back a little ways, and I'm going to make a part down to her ear, to her right ear. So I've kind of just made like a triangle shaped section in the front. And I'm going to do the same on this side, just part it down to right about her ear as well. And I'm going to push all of the rest back and just really quickly hold it in on elastic so that it's out of the way. Now I'm going to go back to the top right here and I'm going to create, take back just a little bit for me, just the smallest section of hair, like literally maybe a quarter inch wide, just a really tiny piece of hair. We only need enough hair to do about four bows, so you don't want this too wide. That's probably just about right. Okay, and we're going to flip this out of the way as well. So we don't want that in the way. Okay, now with all of this left over on this side, we're going to do a French braid. I'm going to use just a tiny bit of hair wax spray in there just to kind of help control a little bit of the flyaway. Brush it. No snarls. I'm going to go right up to the top of her forehead and begin the French braid. And I'm going to diagonal it just a smidge as I go back. So it's going to start up at the top, kind of angle back down to her ear. This is just a regular French braid. You are the minutes of the time, your inspiration to this rhyme, you are, you are. When I get to the bottom, then I'm just going to finish it off with a regular braid. You only have to go far enough to go to the back of her head. So that's plenty far on ours. I'm going to just take an elastic and hold it really fast. Like that. Now I'm going to go to the other side and repeat the same steps. Again, making sure to keep this top section out of the way. So on this side, I'm just going to begin again at the top and do a really quick French braid on this side as well. where you're far enough along, secure it with a rubber band. For now, until it's out of the way. Okay, now we're going to do the bow part. So I'm going to go back to this top section, and I'm going to take my hairpin and slide it under the first little stitch of French braid right there. It's about a quarter of the way up her eyebrow. I'm going to take a section of hair using a little spray wax. So it's a little on there. That'll help the bow keep a really pretty shape. Go through the hairpin and create your first bow. And you can make it as big or as little as you want. I'm not gonna make mine too big, like that. And then let the ends just fall to the side and repeat again the next stitch of hair. Again, taking some hair from that top section, a little bit of hair wax, make a loop, go through, Make a bow, let the ends fall to the side, and you're going to do this all the way down from part of the braid. And then the rest of the ends can just lay and fold right into the back part of the hair. So we're going to release the back part of the hair, and that's all going to just kind of combine in there nicely and mold together. Now we're going to, you have that elastic, take the back part of her hair and release those two elastics we put in. To hold them. And we're just gonna go right about there and secure it. Brush out any leftover braid you have. And she's got a little natural texture in her hair, which adds to it. And there you have Prim's Bow Braid. 
Let's give it a final spin for the prim bow braid. Now some of you guys may have noticed that this looks like our bow braids when you saw the movie or the trailer, and that's because it does. So Linda Flowers actually called this a year ago. She's the head hairstylist for the Hunger Games entire movie series and told us that she was going to be using a version of our bow braid in the movie and we were so excited. We were so flattered and honored, but we weren't allowed to say anything. It's been such a hard secret to keep. And because of that, she did allow us to fly down and be on set one day, which was so much fun. We got to fly to Atlanta and watch them film the whole chariot scene where they're coming in on their horses with the chariots. It was so beautiful and the hair was amazing. So while we were on set, we took this book, Catching Fire, and we had some of the people that we met sign it. So inside we have um, Katniss and Peeta and Hamish and Finnick signatures all ready to go. The book is brand new. Nobody gets a book like this. Like you might get a book with one signature, but four people. It was so awesome to be on set. It was so amazing of them to sign the book. And now one of you gets to be the lucky winner of this book. So here are the rules to enter the giveaway. You must be 18 or older or have your parents' permission. It is open internationally. I'll ship it anywhere in the world. And you must be a subscriber to Cute Girls Hairstyles as well as Brooklyn and Bailey. And we will be verifying that you are a subscriber before we send the book off. Now, to enter the giveaway, you can leave a comment below telling us which character you identify the most with. Or, for bonus entries, you can refer five of your friends to our channel. I'll put a link right here. You can just grab it and send it to them. Super easy. And for every five people you refer, you get one bonus entry, and you can refer up to 25 people. So, please don't cheat. Don't send in a million comments. We're going to have to delete you if you do that, and that would be such a bummer. So just be fair, have a great time. I'm so excited to send this to one of you guys. And make sure you watch next Sunday's video because we will be doing a little screen that announces the winner. We will not be sending emails. So if you get an email before next Sunday, don't believe it. Next Sunday in video will be the winner announcement. And we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye.